Eagle Buck that's going to kick off the NFC games on Sunday. Tom Brady and company favored by eight and a half. So, Jeff, we just heard how kind of Pierce feels about the Eagles. How confident are you, though, that they can actually cover? Not talking went out right, but do you think they can sure. cover? Sure. And, you know, I mean, again, you look at this, the trends here. I mean, Tampa is six and two covering at home. I, I just I kind of throw all this stuff out. Right. We are in the playoffs now. And realistically, it's a temp, different Tampa Bay team. And yes, Mike Evans looks great. He looked great against Carolina. The Eagles have been very good at shutting down opposing wide receivers this year. And there's no Chris Godwin, no Antonio Brown, and they're going to be relying on Gronk. I want nothing to do with Tampa Bay covering over a touchdown in this spot. I think the Eagles are the epitome of a scrappy team. Do I think they can make a run to the Super Bowl? Absolutely not. Do I think a rested kind of Jalen Hurts, you know, Dallas Goddard could connect here and put up some points on a Tampa Bay defense? that just about lost to the Jets two weeks ago? Yeah, absolutely. Plus eight and a half for Pitt, for Philly, excuse me. I'm interested. Quite frankly, I'm actually interested in the money line in this game for the Philadelphia Eagles as well. I think this is a spot where Jalen Hurts could absolutely win this game with his legs. I'm all over the Eagles here. Wow. Pierce, you just want to explain to us why you're all over the Eagles besides the fact that it's just backing them underdogs? It was great to hear Jeff come up, come all the way to the money line, but it makes sense. I mean, we're talking about all oh, the Eagles don't have a chance. Well, let's just look at their first game. They absolutely have a chance. If we yeah. think that they can stay within the spread, that means they're within a touchdown. That means they're within striking distance at the end of this game. And as Jeff mentioned, Tampa is not the same team that has been, you know, on fire at home this season. Tom Brady has looked good when he has weapons, but he doesn't have weapons. Tyler Johnson, Rashad Perriman, possibly uh, Keyshawn Vaughn as the starting running back. That's trouble. You know, they've won games recently because they played the Panthers twice. They almost lost to the Jets. They did lose to New Orleans. And why did they lose to New Orleans? Because they didn't have any offensive weapons. And guess what? They still don't have any offensive weapons. We've seen this show before. Steve Buchanan pointed out a week or so ago that, hey, remember Tom Brady with the Patriots when he didn't have weapons? They lost games and he got run out of town. Well, here we are again. They absolutely can lose this game. I know that we need Philadelphia to show up. We need Jalen Hurts to have a magical game. But I I think they can get the running game working. I think Tampa is being uh, favored by way too much. 